This is the outside of the 2021 Eldis Explore 554. If I firstly come to the gas locker, you'll see that we have room in here for two gas bottles. The regulator just sits here and then the hose comes off the regulator and screws into the propane bottle. It's tightened with a gas spanner just here. Bottle on and off on the top. Do make sure that the bottle is isolated for travel. Also in here we have the corner steady winding handle, the wheel brace and the mains cable. This particular model is fitted with Alco trailer control. As we come round, we have one of the front wind points for the corner steadies. Next we have the flue for the whale boiler. We do not need to do anything with this. There's no covers or anything that need to come off. Just make sure that nothing is obstructing it. We then have water into the caravan at this point here. To remove the submersible, just slide up and pull towards you and it will then release. And then when we plug it back in, just plug it in, make sure this bit here just slides into that gap and then slide back down to lock it into place so it doesn't pop back out again when it goes under pressure. Battery locker just here. So the leisure battery is installed in here. We then have mains supply hookup just here. And then beneath that we then have the isolator point for the power touch motor mover. Vents for the Dometic fridge. Again, don't really need to do much with these but make sure nothing's obstructing them and try to avoid spraying too much water at them when washing the caravan. Power touch mover. Grey water drain points just here. So anything that goes down your plug holes comes out at these two points here. The toilet is here. At the top here is the header tank fill for the flush water. So you can pop your pink solution in here if you wish and then top the rest up with water, either using a hose pipe or a watering can. Never travel with this completely full as it will slosh around everywhere and make a mess inside. So if this needs draining down, just come to where the cassette is located and just tucked up here is the drain tube for it. To remove the cassette just lift up on the lever and pull towards you. Before use remove the cap and add your toilet chemical with a small amount of water. This is also where it empties from. Just remember that when you are pouring it away just to hold the button in just here to release the vacuum inside. It's also advisable to keep this seal lubricated. Fetford do their own seal lubricants, but any silicon based lubricant is fine. This is also a nice quick and easy way of giving the cassette a good clean. If you do need to gain full access inside the cassette, this whole section here can be removed. You'll see at the moment that the arrow is pointing to the locked point. If you turn this so the arrow points to here, this section can come out. All of these cassettes now are on wheels with extendable handles. As we now come round to the rear, we have the wind points for the back steadies. access underneath the bed spare wheel in the carrier just here
weight plate just here. Also on the weight plate you will find the tyre sizes, the tyre pressures and the wheel nut torque settings. We then have access underneath the bench seat just here. You'll see that there's a main socket just there as well. We then have the barbecue point just here. To use the barbecue point, firstly remove the adapter just here, which is attached with a cable tie. The hose of the barbecue attaches to this rib section just here. Secure that with a Jubilee clip. This end here then plugs in where my finger is and will lock into place. This will then allow you to turn the gas on. To remove it, just push on the collar, push it up, and it will then pop back out again. The caravan is alarmed. And we have the arm disarm button just here. When we arm it, you will get a single beep. And when we disarm it, we will get a double beep. 